Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. This is part 7 of our Copilot Studio tutorial series. In this video, I will cover knowledge sources in Copilot Studio. In my next slide, I have one table, but I will cover this table at the last. Let's directly go to our Copilot Studio environment. I am in my Copilot Studio in my environment DS Tech Mirror. Here, I have created a new agent, knowledge source agent. And over here, I have not added anything. If you will see there are no knowledge sources if i go to the topics all the topics are the default topics i have not created any custom topic or i have not made any modification with the system topics so i am not using the uh, ds tech mirror first agent which i have been using it uh, till now this is a new agent okay now let's directly go to the knowledge tab which i have to cover in this particular video over here what you can do you can add a knowledge source so what is knowledge source so uh, what we can do we can add knowledge sources to our agent which you know our agent will be used to answer our query or to perform its actions along with its generative ai knowledge if you will click on this add knowledge here you will see multiple options you can upload files first one is the file system if i'll click on it you can upload file from your file system then we have one drive option you can upload your file from one drive and also you can upload your file from the SharePoint. So at the top is the you can upload documents, you can upload files from here. Over here, you can see you can uh, give some public sites. So, whatever the public sites we have, which requires no authentication, which are open to all, you can give the URL over here. Over here, I can give the link of the any public website. Then Copilot Studio can go through that particular site and respond to our queries. So, that public website will become one of the knowledge source i can give sharepoint list or sharepoint uh, site over here which i have already covered here we do also have azure ai search dataverse dynamic 365 salesforce and many others if you go to advanced there are some other features as well and also we can create custom connector to have the custom data source using microsoft graph so this is the high level overview of the knowledge sources in copilot studio let's see now one by one uh, let me do one thing let me upload one file before i do that let's uh, cancel this and i'll take you through one of the document this is one document which i will upload this is tech mirror it policy device usage policy password policy internet and email usage so some general uh, steps are being mentioned over here now let's go to this agent and say hello and i'm doing this in real time i have not tested this agent before recording this particular video so let's see what response i will get okay that's fine now i'll ask him what is the password policy so if you if you know uh, we have not not created any of the topic for this so we have not defined any topic for this uh, prompt or for this particular trigger like what is the password policy related to the password we have not created any topic still we are getting this response that is because uh, using the generative AI or using the uh, these elements are being trained on general data. So with the help of that, it is giving us this particular response. What we can do under overview, uh, this orchestration use generative AI, I can disable this. So let's wait for it to get disabled. And then what I will do, let me refresh this test panel. And let's try again. What is the password policy? Still, we are getting the same response. So I will refresh it one more time and moreover I will refresh my browser as well just to be sure that this particular setting comes into effect. Now again what is the password policy and if you will see now no information was found that could help answer with. So you could see now when generative AI option I disabled it there are no knowledge sources there are no topics so we are not getting any response related to this particular information now what i can do over here you could see this edit knowledge sources or from the knowledge tab i can directly go or if i go to overview also there also so there are multiple ways you can add knowledge i'll click on add knowledge and i have a document in my file system so i'll click on upload files and it'll say tech mirror it policy is the name of my document and this is the name this is the description if you want you can edit it and click on add to agent now this particular file is being 
you know being added to the agent it will be indexed and then this will be one will this will become one of the data sources for this particular agent this it will use it for, to answer our queries now it is in progress because it's being indexed and once that indexing is completed this will become ready and then i will again type the same query and we'll see i think we should get the response so this will be the good example how knowledge sources help after this we will see if we can get the document from the sharepoint what will happen if you are getting the you know content from the public sites now this is ready again i'll refresh my test panel and now i'll ask what is the password policy and now if you will see this it got triggered and we have got the answer password policy and if i'll compare this with my document you will see over here i'll just put both the uh, windows side by side and see password policy at least 12 character and we got the exact information one more thing to note one more thing to note over here is at the bottom also we are getting this reference from where it's being fetched and the complete text so this is how it's working but the one more important point over here is how it got triggered now we have not created any topic for this if you are following my videos in this particular tutorial regularly then you will come able to relate it what i'm saying see i have not created any topic still now when uh, like none of the existing topics got matched now if you will see which topic got matched on unknown intent now this particular text is not being able to trigger any other topic so it got triggered on unknown intent and next is the create generative answers it is using this particular action to get the answers for our queries and at the bottom you will see data sources so let's click on this data sources and here you will see knowledge sources search add knowledge web search and over here you can see if this is enabled for you you can disable it as well or you can keep it as it is i will disable it and search only selected source or you can select from here then this will become a part of the this particular topic and i'll click on save okay now let's go to the another uh, knowledge add knowledge and i'll try to add some file from sharepoint let's go to sharepoint here you can enter the url of the file or folder or you can browse items i'll click on browse items at the top you can see selected files will be uploaded to dataverse so whatever file we will upload it will store it into dataverse and sharepoint data will only be available to authenticated end users that means it will respect the uh, permissions whatever permissions we are there on this uh, sharepoint site okay now i'll select my site this is the poc site this is my document library and over here i have uploaded one more document which is employee handbook and same you can edit the name description add to agent and the text i have opened it over here see office timing leave policy dress code so this is one sample document now what we will do we will wait for uh, you know to it get uploaded then it will be indexed and then only this will be ready for our use let's wait for this particular process to get finished okay we are getting an error so far you know one thing i'm not able to figure it out whenever you know i'm getting this error it's not showing what kind of an error so if you guys do have any idea please do let me know in comment i'll click on edit let's see so when i was preparing for this particular video i observed when you refresh and try again sometimes it works so let me try again i go to knowledge and see it's in progress and over here you can notice the type also type is the file file available to this is name of our agent only source agent last modified by and this is the status i think this should be uh, you know uploaded successfully this time and again one thing to notice over here is we are not sure sometimes if you are getting this error where status is being filled just refresh your page and try again hopefully it will work so now this particular document is also ready now let's uh, query this dress code let's query what is the dress code and see what is the wait i'll forget to refresh this test settings over here before i test my agent now i'll say what is the dress code policy 
and here again uh, on unknown intent topic got triggered and it's saying no information was found that could help okay now i'll go and click on this knowledge sources this is the fallback one okay i'll go to conversational boosting fine then i'll go to click on edit data sources and here i'm not selecting this one so now I'll take this click on save employee handbook also and now i'll click on refresh so guys notice one thing so in this particular video along with knowledge sources what we have learned about this particular topic conversational boosting and then again i'll ask the same thing what is the address code let's see if this will work okay now it is asking for the authentication because over there because now this particular document is being stored in the sharepoint and over there we saw the message that it will you know consider the end users permission i said allow and it worked but again you know we are not getting any response so what i'll do i'll refresh this page let me try this i'll try again what is the dress code policy and it's trying to retrieve and this time we got the response so lately what i have observed is other than refresh uh clicking on this refresh icon sometimes we have to refresh our page as well so please do keep in mind if it's not working for you and if you will compare the response dress code policy it has picked from this particular handbook which is being opened over here now over here it will download it or open it so i have already opened it and you can refer it from here so now uh, we are able to test the data from the file system or from the sharepoint now let's see whether uh, how this public sites will work before that over here if i type what are power apps whether it's getting the response or not see we are not getting any response for power apps because this data is not being contained in any of the uh, knowledge sources which we have added additionally we have disabled the gen, gen ai option so now what we can do i can go to this particular site over here the normal microsoft site documentation site i'll select this and i'll go to the knowledge sources i'll say add knowledge and here i'll go to public sites in public sites i'll paste this link then to be and here you will see the website cannot be more than two level deep so that means one level and second level so i'll get rid of this first and see and maker and now one and two i'll add this particular site confirm add to an agent now this particular website is being added so the whatever content is available on this page and all the pages under it that will be available for us and if you will see this public site got added immediately and it is ready so now if i type again but let me refresh my page first and then we'll see okay we'll see over here what are power apps in this time we should get the response see we got the response using the public site this is directly from the sharepoint so there is some i think there is some problem because initially we got the response but again then you know there is this error so let's see what is this error i think my bad i have to go back to that topic everything is fine i just forgot to add that word data source so i'll go to system topic conversational boosting uh, done edit data sources and here i think i have to add this both the pages are same so i'm just adding one click on save okay and now i'll refresh my page let's try again so this is what are power apps because what i observed is initially we are getting the response and then it got erased off so let's see now we got the response yes and we got the reference also now so now it's working so it was because we have not added this particular data source in the conversational boosting topic so please make sure to add that so guys this is how you can work with the different data sources we have covered public site sharepoint site file system document from sharepoint and there are uh, other knowledge sources as well for example you can go to dataverse over there you can select tables so over here you can select all this table and then it will use these tables to get you the responses now you have got the idea about the knowledge sources so now it's a good time to go 
so now it's good time to go to my second slide for today which is this knowledge sources see public site we have covered so what it is saying 25 websites we can edit in classic mode only four public url so if you will, if you have seen the classic mode i have disabled in the conversational boosting so in the generative mode 25 websites we can use these are the limitation actually documents all documents con classic mode limited by the dataverse file storage allocation so we are good over here sharepoint side 25 urls 4 urls for classic mode so you can consider 25 urls now let's you can you can skip this classic mode so 25 urls for sharepoint 25 for public side and dataverse generative mode unlimited table you can add and two dataverse knowledge sources for the classic one so guys these are the some limitations which you, which you should keep in mind for public side 25 links for sharepoint 25 document all document and so on for dataverse so we have limitations only with the so guys uh, that's it for today's video before i close let's go through our journey uh, where we have reached and what all topics we uh, you, you know what i can cover yes over here so let me see i think what i have covered is this i will not cover because i'm not finding it very useful in today's context so uh, this i have covered now and knowledge sources so i'll put this one over here also so this is done and if you will see from this phase one foundation where i think this i will not cover so deploying the copilot to a website or team so maybe i will cover this as the next topic and interface to trigger actions and publishing so this i have already done triggers i have covered actions actions mostly you know i have given you an idea how you can add power automate but i will i will cover in detail in upcoming video so maybe i will push this to the intermediate side and then we will be done with the phase one foundation okay and then we will push our focus to intermediate side over here we have covered this variables and uh, conditions then i think with using power automate flow inside the copilot will cover this actions also publishing will be covered under topic seven and triggers i think already covered so i will push this over here and then i think phase one by next video will be done then we will be left with intermediate and advanced topics thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our coming videos till then much love keep learning thank you